For it was grace that brought my liberty. I'll never know, oh no, no, why he came. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm grateful. That's the word that continues to come to my mind is I'm grateful. I hope this, um, this is my boy and you guys have seen him and I want you guys to, to look at him. He's quite handsome, I must say. And, um, and he was my only son. Um, my, one of my greatest accomplishments in life was this young man right here. And, um, now he's not here anymore. And that is a, a pain, um, that I can't even formulate into words. There's just not a word to even describe the pain. Um, I thought I was the preacher, but I think, uh, <laughs> Kiana has uh, has become. I want to um, I want to further uh, give credence to the fact that DeAndre was our son. He is our son. He's he's our son. We love him, and for nearly the last 25 years, everything that we've done in our lives has been about DeAndre. And that's what good parents do. And everything, everything, every choice, every move, every decision has been with consideration for DeAndre and for all of my children to have a, a long life. There's a passage of scripture that we've always prayed uh, over our children. Psalms 91 yeah. talks about he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And that, that last verse, uh, when we pray for our children, it's with long life shall they satisfy thee. Oh my God. And I'm having a conversation uh, with God over the last two weeks about that verse. Yeah. Uh, with long life shall uh, they satisfy thee. And we're here tonight because all our kids should have that opportunity in that future. We're here tonight because DeAndre did not have all the years that he should have had to be young and then to be a father and to be a man and part of a community in the way that his family hoped and dreamed that he would be. And we want that for our children. We wanted that for DeAndre. God's plan did not call for parents to bury their children. Black lives do matter. It's become a cry for hurt, frustration, and desperation heard all too often in too many cities around the United States. Black lives do matter in Portland, in Seattle, in Baltimore, in Chicago, in Los Angeles, Miami. Since July 2014, the city of Portland has been engaged in a community conversation a community call to action campaign entitled Enough is Enough. 